Today I'm going to show you how to install a Apricorn Velocity Solo desktop SSD upgrade kit into a 5 year old Dell 9200 PC. What we're showing on the screen is the average speeds of the, what you would expect to, out of a Seagate 3.5 inch internal SATA hard drive. We're going to uh, be installing a crucial 64 gigabyte SSD, uh, cloning the operating system to the SSD and then booting from it and rerunning our crystal disk mark. We're going to start by shutting down the PC. Okay, this uh, is the blank Apricorn Velocity Solo. Uh, we're going to be installing a crucial SATA 3 64 gigabyte SSD because we like the performance of this drive. You can use whatever drive you like, check your performances. The card is full SATA 3. So to get started, just a Attach and install screws. Okay, the drive is secured to the card. Now we're going to open up the PC and install the new card. Going to install this Apricorn Velocity Solo with a crucial SSD into a, any available PCIe expansion slot. So, when we boot the PC after installing the Velocity Solo, Windows Vista and Windows 7 will automatically detect the new hardware and install drivers automatically. Windows XP requires uh, an additional download from the Apricorn website. Here's the BIOS of the Velocity Solo. At this point, keep in mind we're still booting off the original Seagate uh, three and a half inch discs, so the boot time is going to be the same as before, which is what we're trying to in improve with the addition of the Velocity Solo. Here's here we're seeing Windows detecting and installing the drivers for the Velocity Solo. And the crucial hard drive that we've installed onto it. So now that Windows has detected and installed the drivers for the Velocity Solo and the attached SSD, we're going to use the Apricorn EasyGig software to clone the internal Seagate drive to the crucial SSD. I've downloaded EasyGig 4 from the Apricorn website at www.apricorn.com forward slash EasyGig. It's a straightforward software. We're going to start EasyGig. Accept the license agreement. Pick the internal source drive, which is the Seagate 160. Pick the destination crucial solid state drive. There's some advanced options for data deselection if you need to shrink the size of your disk. But uh, for this demo, we're not going to explore those options. Start the clone. And wait for it to finish. Okay, EasyGig is finished cloning. And the autoplay on the machine is uh, wanting to open the new drive that it's detected, which is the new SSD. I'm going to take a quick look at the details of the clone here. Uh, zero write errors, zero verify errors, everything looks good. So now we're going to reboot the PC and go into the BIOS and show you how to pick on this particular PC the startup disk which is the new SSD. If 
We're going to enter the BIOS on this Dell by pressing F2, but it's important to note that the key to enter the BIOS is different on every different manufacturer. You'll have to know your PC and what the key combination is to get into the BIOS. Also, once in the BIOS, the exact method of changing the boot sequence varies from PC to PC. Here I've uh, selected the the newly installed Crucial SSD and I'm going to move that up in the boot sequence so it's selected first and then accept my changes and exit rebooting the PC. And as the PC reboots we should witness a much faster boot time and much faster read write access to the internal drive when it's up and running Windows. Wants to restart after detecting the crucial drive. We'll just go ahead and do that now since it goes so quickly. I forget what the uh, spinning disk, <coughs> it took over a minute to boot, minute and a half. Could have put a stopwatch on it. So this is much improved performance for a five-year-old PC. I'm going to go into the device manager and just show that the uh, boot drive is in fact the 64 gig crucial disk drive C. And this drive E is your old C drive, or my old C drive, the 160 C gate. I can now keep this as a backup. I can delete some stuff off of it, use it for storage. It's available to the system to use as a regular disk. I'm going to now launch the crystal disk and do a performance test on the C drive so we can compare to the increase from the spinning disk at the start of the video. Okay, crystal disk is just finishing its run on the crucial solid state drive. These are the uh, read and write speeds that disk performed. And this to the right is the screen capture of the Seagate drive that we did earlier the read speeds are significantly improved 